To refloat the motor vessel dolly, the section of steel structure draped over it and pinning it down must be removed. To accomplish this, precision cutting offers one of the most efficient and safest methods to be able to remove steel under such a high level of tension. This highly controlled process enables surgical precision. It consists of four steps. First, salvage and demolition teams will have analyzed the structure to determine the precise locations where cuts must be made before the small charges can be placed. Second, these teams will cut the steel at the identified locations. Third, the charges are placed within the cuts and then encased with a wrap similar to a large piece of tape. Finally, the charges are initiated, and the steel is separated by precision cuts that are merely millimeters in width. Upon execution, the steel structure will also be thrust away from the dolly. It's important to note that this controlled demolition is not like what you would see in a movie. From a distance, it will sound like fireworks or loud thunder and appear as puffs of smoke. These steps will be conducted methodically, safely, and with rigorous attention to detail as we work toward opening the federal channel. The most important next steps now for the cleanup operation are for crews to remove pieces of the bridge that are stuck on the ship itself and then refloat the vessel and move it back into the port of Baltimore. 